Okay, welcome back. Uh, Wesley University is organizing a national conference on the bane of tropical countries in appropriate development, environment, energy, economics, or management from August 11th to the 15th, as well as post-UTME screening on August 23rd and subsequently on every Wednesday up till the date of matriculation. And we have four people in the house. A full house. Morning. A full house, actually, uh, to have conversation with us on this. And I will start by introducing the Vice Chancellor and Convener of the conference, Professor Tola Badejo. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Sitting right beside him is Mrs. Choma Obasi, who's the Acting Registrar and Secretary to the Governing Council. Good morning, Madam, and welcome to Sunrise. Good morning, sir. On the other side of my left-hand side, I've got uh, Dr. Gabriel Abayomi Fayanuo, who's a senior lecturer representing the Dean of the College of Agriculture, Food, Science, and Technology, who is also the chairman of the local organizing committee of the conference. Good morning, Good sir. Good morning. And just beside him is Mr. Edward Oyekomi, who is a microbiology lecturer, College of Natural and Applied Sciences Conference Program Director. Great to have you here. Good morning, Good morning, sir. Now we have the full house. I want to start with the convener of the conference. Prof, yes. tell us about the conference. What is it about? What do you want to achieve with this? Thank you very much. The conference is... Um, about we are trying to identify the problems that, that are militating against development, appropriate development in tropical countries. Mm -hmm. We know that the setting in tropical countries is different from the setting in temperate countries. But some are all the rich countries in the world are concentrated in the temperate zone. So we want to know whether it's our environment that is the problem, whether it's a lack of generation of enough energy whether it's economics, money, or uh, you know, uh, management factors. So we're, that's why we're, before we, we the, the conferences we've had before, that been streamlined you know, towards soil protection, water, and all that. But this one is a multidisciplinary approach. Economists, energy experts, environmentalists, and even people in management, we want to identify the obstacles towards our development in this Peculiar Does that uh, mean that we don't know the answer at the moment? Or well, we there are several an answer? answers. Okay. And people have been saying, no, it's because we have a poor environment, our soils are not fertile. So people are saying that because our leaders don't manage us well. So people are saying that it's, it's, all, it's so many reasons. So we now want to ask whether we can apportion, apportion like percentages or so to the contribution of each of these factors towards the so-called underdevelopment. Okay, but then you find a situation where even comedians will tell you that they know the solution to Nigeria's problems. And they do joke about those solutions, but we just don't seem to implement them. Just, can you give me an, an example? Roads. Roads, okay. If you say you need road infrastructure, you'll find a comedian who will say there's a pothole, fix it. If we fix all the potholes on the roads everywhere, we'll have good then everything roads. Be, uh, okay. no, not everything will be okay, but at least we'll have good roads. If That's you have good problem. roads and no energy, and, 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 and people cannot, cannot they don't have access to electricity, what happens? Mm. If you have good roads and your soils are not fertile and you're not getting good yield, what happens? So actually it's a kind of hydra-ended problem Problems. and the solution must also be that approach. So okay. what we're looking at is finding robust solutions, solutions to all of the problems, and what would you then do with all of those solutions? Yes, well, now, when we identify the, the problems and the solutions to them, then we go to town with it. Remember, it's not for academics alone. People in government have been invited, technocrats have been invited, captains of industries have been invited, and we're going to come up with a communique that we'll publish, we'll go to all arms of government, involved to tell them what we have discovered through research and of course we prefer the solution looking forward to implementation yes. mrs obase um maybe you would like to tell us i know wesley university is about um specializing science and technology tell us more about the university 
um, a university was established in 2008. And as you rightly identified, it, um, it specialized in science and technology. And it is located in a serene environment. And the, the, the summary of our activities there is that we try to blend academics, talking about teaching, research, and so on, with morals. So if you, if you look at our motto, it says, character, knowledge, and character for development. And those are the um, things we try to emphasize in all our activities. OK. All right, uh, Mr. Fayenubo, how would you um, describe the appropriate development in the context of this uh, conference? Thank you very much. Uh, appropriate development is a bordered context of appropriate technology, and uh, which is encompassing and with regards to choice. This, this is, these are encompassing issues. And uh, this uh, appropriate development could be a small scale, could be in terms of uh, the development that is very local, that people at the local level can automatically understand this thing. And it is going to be energy sufficient, the small scale, and uh, the issue that could get people that will solve the immediate problem of the people. There are a lot of problems facing development, and there are a lot of solutions that are being offered, and we want to get to the specific, to know how these issues can be tackled, to know what we can do to make it available to all the people around, even at the, at the local level, to know that these things can really suffice in our environment that we have. Okay. And in the conference, there are a lot of areas, a lot of disciplines that are coming to bring up idea solutions to so some of the problem identified. And how can we get this problem solved with regards to what we have, been, we have found out? Okay, so, so, Mr. so I was going to ask Mr. Yekomi then, in, in terms of the people that uh, uh, Dr. Ofainu was just referring to, what caliber of people are you expecting to be at this event and what will they be talking about? Thank you very much, sir. We're expecting captains of industries, we're expecting technocrats, we're expecting administrators, we're expecting researchers. We want to come up with empirical uh, information, not just anybody just saying anything, validated uh, information which we move us ahead. So we are expecting that even policymakers will come so that we'll be able to rub minds together and see how we can move ahead. Okay, uh, let, let's come back to uh, Professor Badijo. Now, why is the university specialized on sciences? Thank you. We all know that no nation can develop without uh, adequate knowledge and reaching a stage, a very high stage in science and technology. Because we really, that's, that's the real bane, one, one of the problems we have in tropical countries or so-called underdeveloped or developing countries. So Methodist Church that owns that university decided to make it a specialized university in science Methodist and development. Methodist Church yes. owns the university? Yes, Methodist Church Nigeria. Oh, right. That's the proprietor of the university, the own university. And when it was established six years ago, the focus is on science and tech because that's what we really need for development. There are so many universities in this country. Not many of them are general multipurpose universities. But that is not to say that it is science and development per se in the sense, in the popular sense of science. There are really Nigerian things, biology, chemistry, physics, that's all you have in science. Economics is a social science subject. Accounting is a management science. So we, our development says our focus on science is not restricted to natural and applied sciences alone. It also encompasses all, if after social all, science is knowledge. Well. Science yeah. means knowledge. Mm. Okay, there, there, there are four colleges in this uh, Wesley University. Okay, well, you want to tell us about the programs this each offers? Okay. <coughs> we have the College of um, 
agriculture, food science, and technology. And there we offer five courses, five programs. Um, nutrition and dietetics. We have um, we have the agriculture itself as a program, and then we have hospitality management. We have home economics, so, and in the College of Environmental Design and Management, we have just two programs there: estate management, then urban and regional planning. And in our real, the core college of natural and applied sciences, we have biochemistry, we have um, microbiology, industrial chemistry, industrial mathematics, we have geology, geophysics, and then we have physics with electronics blended as a course. And we also have computer science in that um, college. Then our college of social and management sciences offers accounting, business administration, banking and finance. We have um, a mass communication, we have economics, and we have political science. So in these four, in these, uh, four colleges, we have like 22 programs running. Okay. And all are duly approved or accredited, as the case may be. So if I decide my daughter wants to come to Wesley University, mm -hmm. um, what's the admission process like? Yeah. Um, just as it obtains in all Nigerian universities, we, our admissions are true jam. Your daughter will need to take the UTME, that's um, Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, and the person must score the cutoff point for the particular year of admission. For this year, it is 180. Out of what? Sorry? 180 old. points. That's out of jam out of, out of 400. 400. Out of 400, okay. yes, I didn't get it. Then, when that is satisfied and we are sure that he has the, the required O level subject combination, because it has to be combinations that are relevant to the program of the person's choice, then the person applies to Wesley University and is invited for our post UTME screening. That's the process. In a nutshell. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. and um, uh, we can see on the screen, you know, some of the um, details, platforms and... where you can get in touch with the school. Uh, sorry, uh, let me just ask the Prof. This is a little bit of a digression. Now, when you say uh, when uh, Mr. Basi here was saying that 180 points out of 400, that's below the average point. That's 40 percent, really. 40 percent. That's that's uh, the past okay. mark. Uh, for set by to... camp itself. Does every, that mean every that year. every university would admit anybody from uh, 180 In principle, points? yes, but many people believe 200 is a past mark because older universities or well-established universities will have, will, have, will have a big problem if they come down to 180 because the number of people qualified would just be too many. Okay. So that's why most of them Stop so at 200. So it's not an offense to make 200 your pass mark. So the as long jam, as it's above 180. Jam can say the cutoff point is 180. 180. But individual universities See, can have their own cutoff point, cut which is a higher, lot higher. Which must be higher. Okay. It should be higher. Okay, let's go back to the issue of this conference, uh, Mr. Dr. Fayenu. What's the role of the private sector and individuals in promoting these appropriate developments Thank that you spoke you about. Much. I just believe that we should not limit the problem of the country or the problem